What's up guys? This is Barman2205. Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 Trials to Glory World Championship Tournament 2005. It's still an unnecessarily long name. Uh, let me... Remember how. Let me, um... Just show you real quick. If I go to status, I have accumulated over 4,000 DP. So we can buy the other two decks, which is what we're gonna do, and then combine them with our current deck. So we're gonna talk to Gramps. Good to see you again. What have you come to buy today? Uh, we are gonna buy a Yugi standard. Put that in our basket. We're gonna buy a Seto standard. Put that in our basket. Um... We've still got about 400 bucks. So let's... What can we afford? We can afford a soldier collection. He's got three left. We'll get an insect collection. We've got 200 bucks. Oh no, he 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 only has the one. Okay. Um, in that case, let's also we'll just we'll just grab. One pack of volume one. <laughs> let's do that. And we're gonna exchange. Actually, before we exchange, let me briefly show you. This is the first pack in the series. Yes, 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 yes. Let me quickly show you uh, the Yugi deck. I'll just quickly run over what cards we can find in here. Mystical Elf. Uh, just, just another 2,000 defender, which is nice. Uh, a lot of these got Summon Skull is very good. One tribute, 2,500 attack. Very nice. We are gonna. Love him. Beaver Warrior isn't a good card, but I, I just I just love him, as some of you may know. I, I do love Louise the Beaver Warrior. Dark Magician, iconic. We're probably not putting it in the deck. Two tributes for 2,500 just isn't worth it, I'm afraid. Same with Gaia, Curse of Dragon. These guys are all pretty meh. Giant Soldier of Stone, another 2,000 defender. He's nice to have. Um, and then there's just all of this... Stuff we're not going to bother using. Uh, another DN Keto just gives ourselves a thousand life points. Isn't great, but at this stage we don't have a lot to work with, so it will do. Man Eater Bug is nice. It's a flip effect monster that just destroys uh, one monster on the field, which is which is which is nice. And th th these two here, this is mostly why we're buying the decks. Each of the starter decks has this. Fissure destroys one opponent's monster with the lowest attack. And a uh, trap hole is a trap that the attack monster summoned with a thousand or more, it's destroyed. So basically, these are just really good staples, and buying all three of the decks means we'll have three copies of each, which in the early game is nice. Card destruction, maybe? Both players just discard their hands and then draw fresh hands. It's nice. Deed spell, reinforcement, castle walls, meh, whatever. Wall of Illusion is very nice as well. 1850 defense, but anything that attacks it is returned to the hand, so it's very annoying for the opponents to deal with. Um, I think that's mostly... Yo, Gazelle, the king of mythical beasts! He's not a good card, he's just another iconic one. Uh, Wabaku was another nice one that all three decks have, and having three copies is nice. Uh, yo, Thousand Knives. Interesting. Monster Reborn. All of the decks have Monster Reborn and Change of Heart, but I believe they are both on the ban list. Which is something we didn't cover in the last episode. We will get to that though. Um, let's quickly check out the Seto deck as well. Uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Oh yeah. Two tributes, 3000. Probably the strongest monster in the game in terms of just pure strength. Um, no effects, it's quite vulnerable, but at this early stage of the game, it is nice. Uh, Battle of Skimura Dragon. Just a bunch of stuff, really. Where is he? There's a there's another really good monster in here. There he is, Legend, the Mystical Genie of the Lamp. 1800 attack, very nice. Very nice. Honey, honey, very nice. Another fissure and another trap hole. Dark hole. Yeah, Ring of Destruction is in here? What? Destroy one face-up monster card and inflict direct damage equal to the destroyed card's attack to the life points of both you and the opponent. That's nuts. Negate attack as well? Bro. Bro! Yeah, okay, we're buying these. Um, Alright, let's exchange the contents. So 
we get a volume one, an insect, a soldier, and the two decks. Let's open up our packs. We are done exchanging. In which do you want to add uh, no deck, no deck. All right, pack number one. Pretty garbage, if you ask me. Pretty garbage. No, okay, pack number two. I feel like Hercules Beetle is okay. If he's what I think it is. Oh, he's not. He's a he's a two K defender. Oh, he's level five. Ugh. No, no, he's not. He's not what I thought he was. Um, and you're. Yep, that was that was a bit of a dud pack. All right. Warrior collection. Yeah, nothing, nothing good in there either. Uh, okay. Well, we didn't really get anything worthwhile in our packs, but I am gonna quickly take a break here to fold our new cards into into our deck, and uh, I will see you guys with a finished product in a second. Okay, we're back. Uh, let me show you what we've got going on. Um, so we've swapped. Buster Blader for Blue Eyes White Dragon. Uh, Buster Blader is better in specific situations, um, but just in general, Blue Eyes White Dragon is just better and nicer, combined with our Cosmo Queen. These are like our two big boss monsters. We've also got our Summon Skull to act as a pseudo boss. He's very cool. I like it. Goblin Attack Force. We got rid of um, Panther Warrior, because even though he's 2000 attack, having to tribute a monster just makes him a little awkward and slow. Uh, we've got our big. Beat sticks are two 1900 attackers, a bunch of 1800 attackers, then we get into 1700 attackers, we've got a few of them. Giant Soldier of Stone and Island Turtle, uh, they're just big booties, they got a lot of defense, they can hold the line. Sangan's a good searcher, uh, another booty slash annoying effect, booty. Penguin Soldier, Man Eater Bug, Hain Hain, Magician of Faith are just very good flip effects. Uh, moving on to spells, Malevolent Nuzzler, it's actually the only equipped spell we're running now, so I took Maha Velo out because he wasn't that useful. Uh, Dark Hole, two copies of Dean Keto, my Negate Attack, uh, three Fissures, three Trap Holes, seven Tools of the Bandit, two Wobbacoos, Reliable Garden, Guardian, Giant True Nade, and a Ring of Destruction. That is the deck. Let's beat some more schmucks. Actually, let me show you two things that I, that I didn't explain in the previous episode. So the ban list, much like an actual Yu-Gi-Oh! There is a list of cards. Almost every card in the game you can use three copies of. Uh, there are some cards though you can only use two, some you can only use one, and some cards are really powerful and they just straight up ban them and say you can't use them in regular play. Uh, this game follows similar to that in that there are four different ban lists and every week it switches to the next one. Um, and how do we... how do we do that? Uh, we go back home, and we go to bed, and we rest in bed, we go to sleep, and it, it actually saves our progress, uh, and now it's Tuesday, and now there are different people out and about, I've always wanted to duel with everyone, now I finally have the chance. Um, but if we go to the card shop, Grandpa, he's actually closed on Tuesdays, um, but if we, if we now go back home and go back to bed. I'm going to bed now. N no, I'm going to bed now. There it is, rest in bed. And now if we go over to the card shop, hey, it's Taya again. How, how many times, more times can I beat you to, to grind points, Taya? Now if we go to the card shop, uh, oh my goodness, it's, Yu it's Yugi. Hi, I love dueling just as much as you do. Now we can go in, and if we talk to Gramps, good to see you again. What have you come to buy? Uh, he has a lot more cards available. He's also restocked on the decks. We don't need to buy any more of the decks. Uh, but he's got a lot more stuff. Field collection, equip collection, reverse collection, fusion collection, the water, the dark, light, Soldier, insect, dra there's a dragon collection. Wait, we already opened up a dragon collection, didn't we? <laughs> Never mind. But yeah, he's got a lot more. He's got a lot more cards now. Um, but anyway, we're gonna grind up points for those. But also, when I said you can duel anybody, you can duel anybody. I can talk to this dog, woof woof, or I can press the R button. Grr. And now we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh against the dog. 
And we beat him in rock, paper, scissors. We are going to go... First. I'm gonna go first. Duel! Alright, let's draw ourselves a trading card. Battle Ox isn't bad. Man eat a bug, summon skull, goblin attack will dark hole, harpy's brother. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set Man eat a bug. Because he's he's got a very nice flip effect. Then we're gonna pass the turn over. Oh, okay. Alright, well. I was thinking he was gonna attack into Man eat a bug. Instead we'll manually flip him over. Activate his flip effect. Destroy their monster. What was what was their monster? What what did they have? Penguin soldier. Oh, okay, that was a good. That was well played. Um, and now summon skull requires a tribute. So let's tribute our very weak little bug to summon our very strong summon skull. And he's got trap hole. Okay, well. That's our one summon for the turn. We are now completely wide open. Uh, complete turn. This is this is embarrassing. This is this is very awkward. Ninken dog. That's a that's a eighteen hundred attacker, is it not? Yikes. Okay. All right. Wall of illusion. Ooh, wall of illusion, eh? I do have Gemini. Let's summon Gemini Elf. Let's not get too fancy. Let's just uh, enter the battle phase. Attack with our Elf. It's only a hundred points, but it'll do. Let's complete the turn. So far, we are losing at Yu-Gi-Oh to a dog, which is very embarrassing. Gaia power. Hmm. All right, neg let's set negate attack. That's very nice. It does exactly what's said on the card. It negates an attack and it immediately ends the battle phase, which is nice. Um, all right, let's keep the pressure up. Let's goblin attack force. Oh my goodness, these guys are both boosted by Gaia for by Gaia power. Stupid dog, what would you do that for? Oh, this is beautiful. Um, this is so beautiful. Alright, no, this is fine. Okay. Go to battle. Gemini Elf. Attack over this. It's another Ninken dog. Goblin attack force. Hit for 2,800 points. Beautiful. Complete turn. Goblin attack force goes into defense. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna hit over the goblins, which is to be expected. Um. Hmm. No. We're gonna. We'll let the goblins go. We're gonna we're gonna save the negate attack for an emergency, I think. Uh, that's battle ox. Even though it's weaker, it should get boosted by the uh, guy power. Yes, it does. Beautiful. Enter battle phase. Get over wolf axe wielder for a whopping 50 points of damage. Woo-wee! Direct attack. Alright. We are looking very good. Blue Eyes White Dragon. I want to summon it. It's not a good idea, but I want to summon it. <laughs> okay, here's, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set Wall of Illusion. 
we're gonna go into battle. Gemini Elf is gonna hit over whatever this is. It's a mad dog of darkness! We're gonna hit the battle ox. We're gonna complete the turn. Swords are revealing light! No! That means we can't attack for three turns. Oh, that is so... And I took all my D-spells out of the deck, too, because I was like, I don't need these. Alright, let's set a trap hole. We'll set Spirit of the Harp. We'll just, we'll just build up a board. That's what we'll do. Complete 10. I'm gonna deal the finishing blow with blue eyes. I'm gonna do it. Just you wait. Gifri, the Iron Knight. Complete 10. He summoned something. Okay, this is our final turn of not being able to attack. Do we go for it? I'm gonna summon it. We're gonna get rid of the Wall of Illusion and the Spirit of the Harp to summon the Blue Eyes White Dragon! This legendary dragon is a powerful engine of destruction, virtually invincible. Few have faced this awesome creature and lived to tell the tale! Oh yeah. Alright. Past ten, dog. What have you got? What have you got? Oh, <gasps> he's got nothing. He's got nothing. Alright. End the battle phase. Gemini Elf attack. Enraged battle locks? Nah, man. Nah. Blue eyes, white dragon! White lightning attack! We beat a dog at a child's card game. That's how you know that today is a good day. And we got 360 points for it. Woo! Wine, wine. Alright. Um, we're not ready for a tournament. I don't think our deck is quite that good yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to spend the rest of this episode grinding and then I'll probably do some more stuff off camera grinding. I want to fight Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's start! I'm really curious to learn what type of deck you have! It's the deck that's going to beat you, Yugi! Alright, what have we drawn? Neo the Magic Swordsman, Axe Raider... Alright, well, let's play our Dian Keto. Give ourselves some extra life points. Let's summon Gearfreed the Iron Knight. And we'll pass it over. Gemini up. Wow. Axe of Despair. Wow, okay. Look, this is fine. We have Fissure. Yeah, this is this is fine. This is fine. We have Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's not that useful to us right yet. Let's activate Fissure. Axe of Despair goes to the top of his deck. Let's summon La Jin, the mystical genie of the lamp. Trap hot. You. This does an answer for everything, doesn't he? Now I see why he's the king of games. Alright, Hoppy's brother. Enter the battle phase. Magician of Faith. Axe of Despair. Oh, Axe of Despair was in his graveyard. Okay. 
Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, that makes me a little nervous. Um, let's complete the turn. He can now just juice one of his guys back up again with the axe, which is... Oh! Oh! I think he's bricked! I think he's bricked! Now's the time. Axe raid it! Let's swing, baby. Let's swing. Alright, we've almost got him to half health. The fact that he has an axe of despair, though, does make me very nervous. Oh my goodness. Has he bricked again? Neo the Magic Swordsman. Is this it? Is this enough? I think this is... I think we've won! Yugi, what happened, man? What happened? What happened, man? <laughs> nah, too easy. Too easy. Too easy. That was too easy. We only got 244 points from that. I lost. Pharaoh, I'm sorry I let you down. Look at him, he's crying. We made him cry. But now he's like, hi, I love dueling. Cry, baby. What about Joey? Is Joey around somewhere? Is he outside my house? No, but Taya is. We don't need to fight Teo anymore. I'm sick of fighting Teo. What about the KC Tower? There's Wheeler. I'm gonna show the entire town how Joey the Godfather of Games duels. I'm gonna knock you out. In fact, I know exactly when I'm gonna beat you on the 11th turn. Just you watch. Oh. Paper Gang. Yeah! We are crushing the rock, paper, scissors today. Set seven tools of the bandit so we can negate a trap. Let's summon goblin attack force as just a big booty. And let's end it there. Time wizard? He's gonna rely on luck for this? And he failed. Swords of Revealing... Come on, man. Swords of Revealing Light. Fine. I'm just... I'm just gonna build up a big board. Why does everybody have Swords of Revealing Light in this game? Gemini Elf is very nice. Complete turn. Summon Skull! Okay. We have Malevolent Nuzla, so we can get over the Summon Skull. I can't do it this turn yet, though. I have to wait for Swords of Revealing Light to pass. Hmm... Let's switch our guys to defense position. They will die, but we won't take any damage because they are defending. Do I want to set anyone else? No, I don't think I do. Okay, there goes the swords. That's not what I want to see. Dark hole, on the other hand. Magic jammer! 
Uh. Oh wait, I have seven tools of the bandit. I, I can negate his magic jammer at the cost of a thousand of my life points. Ha 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 ha, my dark hole still resolves. Now let's let's beat him with a fish. I summon the seven colored fish. I'm gonna equip it with the malevolent nuzzler. Give it an extra what is it? Seven hundred attack? Yes, yeah, so we've got twenty five hundred. I'm gonna enter the battle phase. And I'm gonna slap you with a fish. Monty Python style, baby. Graceful Charity draws three cards, discards two. Hmm. Activate Dan Keto. I'm gonna summon Harpy's brother. What do we think that is? I'm gonna play it safe, just in case it's a 2k defender. I'm gonna hit it with the, with the fish first. It was a goblin attack force, I did not need to worry about that. Alright. Harpy's brother. Get in. We've got him on the ropes. Some Briar the Dark. Interesting. But Zombriar's effect will activate. Zombriar is very strong, but every time it attacks, it loses attack strength. So he's already down to 1900. We can slap him with a fish. And then summon Battle Ox. Uh, into Battle Phase. Let's do that. Let's fish slap. Fish slap! Alright, with a little luck, we should be able to win this on the next turn. Although, so far, Joey better than Yugi at this game is a little concerning. Not gonna lie. Card destruction? Okay. This is fine. I'm gonna set Hane Hane. Nope. Oh, yes, I did. Okay. Because the, the cursor was still on there, but it still said Hane Hane, like down. No, like the cursor moved down to my hand. I don't know. I don't know, I misread it. I'm sleepy. Doesn't matter. Um. Right, I have to enter the battle phase first. I'm like, what is happening? Why can't I do things? Let's attack. Alligator sword. It goes down. Battle ox win for game? Question mark. Oh yeah, battle ox wins for game. Sweet. All right. Is there one more? Is there one more classic Yu-Gi-Oh character I can beat up? Man, I must be the unluckiest guy alive! I couldn't draw the right card to save my life! Like, I don't- I don't want to fight these schmucks, you know? I want to... How do I- how do I get... There we go, Colosseum. Yo, it's Tristan Taylor! Oh my god, and a cat. Meow! <laughs> we could- hey, hey! I didn't want to... No, I didn't want to... I just wanted to step down a little bit. Is it true that I don't have much experience... It's true that I don't have much experience dueling, but there's somebody I'm after, so I can't quit. If you ever want to duel, give me a holler. Alright, bring your A game, because I'm bringing my A plus game. Wow, we lost rock, paper, scissors to Tristan. If, if we lose this one, we beat a dog, 
we beat Joey, we beat Yugi. If we now lose to Tristan, this will be the most depressing day of my adult life. We have a lot of traps. Uh, that is a lot of back row. Uh, Dean Kiddo. Alright, let's get aggressive. Dark Fire Soldier number one. Ancient brain. I'm a gigantic brain. Complete ten. I do not wish to activate spell or trap card. Nope. Nope. Fissure. All right, let's set Wall of Illusion. to battle. I have to spell or trap card. No. Man eat a bug. Okay, so he is going to destroy Darkfire Soldier. We could activate our Ring of Destruction now. And we will just destroy it first and get the effect off and deal damage to both of us. I think I want to hold on to it though. What are you doing, Tristan? What are you doing? Gemini Elf. Gemini Elf is very nice. Tristan, I wanted to make this quick, so if you just draw this out... I swear. Skull dice? So he rolled a 2, so my elf loses 200 attack points. It's fine though, it still kills the brain. Wait a minute, what? What defense does the brain have? It has 700. So even if he had rolled a 6, I would still have 1300 attack. And I still would have won. <laughs> Tristan, what was your plan there? What was your plan, Tristan? What, what were you, what were you, what were you, what were you gonna do? Uh, no, I, I don't. I, d I don't want to activate. No, I don't want to activate. Oh, oh my god. A tainted wisdom? What does this do? I see you have an effect. When this card is changed from attack position to defense position, shuffle your own deck. Oh, gee, okay. Battle phase. Hit the Tainted Wisdom. Swing in with Jim and I L. Still don't want to activate a set spell or trap. They have nothing. I'm pretty sure we win here. Um, 19, 17, that's 3,600, 4,600, plus we can then do the ring. Yep, 
We we win. All right. Um, let's flip the wall of illusion up. Into battle phase. We attack with Gemini Elf. New. New. Wall of Illusion. New. Battle Ox. N nope. Nope. No. Hang on. Hang on. Not yet. And now, in response to dealing damage, I will now activate my Ring of Destruction. Targeting Battle Ox. Seven tools of the bandit. However, I can activate my seven tools of the bandit in response to his seven tools of the bandit. And we win. Beautiful. Beautiful back and forth there. Yep, absolutely pathetic amount of DP. Ah, oh, I guess I'm not ready yet. I gotta train if I wanna win, but I hate training! Alright. Um, I'm gonna wrap it up here, but first... I just wanna see... What's my what's my DP goal? What are we grinding to? What do, what do I want to buy? I think I want a light collection... A dark collection and a water collection. If I get a box of each, the, the, a, a, a box each is five thousand. So if we grind up to five thousand and get one of these boxes, I think that's going to put us. We'll, we'll get either the light or the dark. I think that's what we want. I think that's the plan. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I think a light collection. Because there's some some good light monsters. And dark monsters. And water monsters. Water monsters in particular for a deck I want to build a little a little later in the game, but we will cross that bridge when we get to it. Wait, is that Cosmo Queen? On on the dark collection artwork? Is that Cosmo Queen? Because I... I have a Cosmo Queen. <laughs> sort, sort, sort them by attack. I have Cosmo Queen! Oh, Cosmo Queen is a dark. Some, I, I thought it was a light. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Carry on, carry on. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode of... Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 Trials to Glory World Championship Tournament 2005. If you like this video, please give it a like so I know you liked it. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and subscribe to check the rest of the playlist as it happens. Next episode, I am going to enter a tournament, and we are actually going to progress this game properly. I promise. Until then, guys, thank you so much. Please keep it real, and keep it by man.